April 28th, 2020. A little bit foggy today, but hey, that's good for possibly finding a great gray owl that might be lingering. So I think we'll head over to where I saw one last week first. Sun rose about seven minutes ago, but you sure couldn't tell it from a look outside. It is uh, foggy, but dead calm. That's good, that's really good. Um, lots of deer out grazing. So what's our goal for today? Well, I think we should go on the, the Warren Nelson Bog Boardwalk, see if we can find any snowshoe hares or blackback woodpeckers. Um, and oh yeah, we've been going to Stone Lake last two weeks, but let's go to Nichols Lake this time. And I should be out, I believe. It is 35 degrees. Yeah, just had something cool. Just had a first broad-winged hawk of the season. Perched over a ditch is where you often see them because they are frog eaters. They are snake eaters. They eat reptiles and amphibians. And this time of year, even worms. We've, on some of our friends of Zach Zimbug Warbler Wednesdays, the early ones, we've seen them on the roads picking worms. So. It's no coincidence that they're back. The uh, I heard my first wood frog just a few days ago this last weekend, um, April 23rd or 4th, and first spring peeper of the year um, yesterday, the 27th. But they're probably the most common, well, they are the most common nesting budio in our area. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to miss this great gray this time. I guess I'm not in the right spot. It's so foggy I can't even tell. <laughs> okay, this was the spot. I'm going to scan here, but it's so foggy I can't see very far. Hard to see beyond 100 feet or so. Oh, there it is, there he is. Uh, no, that's the top of a snag. It was gray, kind of shaped like a great gray. There's a blob. That's a porcupine blob. Let's take a look at that. This time of year, the porcupines love willow catkins and, and poplar catkins. Let's get a closer look at this guy. Oh, what's that? Wild turkeys. Ten years ago, that would have been extremely exciting. Uh, Twenty years ago, uh, my seatbelt's not. Twenty years ago, nobody would have believed you. How about those turkeys? I was coming back from checking out the great gray owl and there was a, a tom in full display and he didn't care too much about me. He was more interested in the two hens that were around. And uh, he was putting on a full display. That was pretty cool. I think it was in like 1986, I went with Kim Eckerd and a bunch of people all the way to the southeast corner of Minnesota, the very southeast corner, Houston County, and we saw one hen running across a field and we all just slammed on our brakes and almost rear-ended each other. We were so excited and jumped out. And that was uh, my 
first one I'd ever seen in the Minnesota and today you know I, I can have up to 30 in my backyard destroying my feeders it's a candidate for superstar bird of the day but let's see what else we can find in the next few hours Flicker doing its flicka 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 namesake call. But uh, I just stopped here at the Welcome Center, used the outhouse. It's open seven days a week, 366 days a year. Now the Phoebes have returned and. Maybe they are building a nest in the same spot that they have nested the last three years that's last year's nest they're not quite to that point yet but uh, in future field trips we'll keep an eye on uh, the beams above the entrance to the welcome center we had another maybe not so welcome visitor to the welcome center recently it looks like A black bear has tipped over the mega feeder and that's my fault I yeah I should have put that away a long time ago was cool three snipe chasing each other and uh, yeah a bunch displaying even now eight o'clock in the morning but uh, you know it's so dark and heavy overcast and foggy that the candlelight's uh, power is low enough that they their display um, they're still displaying and that sound that winnowing sound is made by the air rushing through their stiff outer tail feathers um, and it makes it woo -woo 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 -woo. and uh, that is impressing the ladies today here on the Admiral Road wetlands the Willow Flats shrub car whatever you want to call it it's this very flat open area with sedges and grasses and willows and uh, it's great in the summer for uh, snipe and bittern. We've had Virginia rail, Sora, Lacant sparrow, clay-colored sparrow, black-billed cuckoo. It's a, it's a really interesting habitat. Red squirrel. This boardwalk we built a couple years ago and it has been incredibly popular. Uh, it's just provided access to the interior of a black spruce bog. You know, it's one of those things where more people use it, the more things people find. 
There's pink lady slippers along here. Snowshoe hair, that's one of the things we're gonna look for. Uh, blackback woodpecker, we had three-toed woodpecker here a couple years ago. Red squirrel chattering. And we've had great gray owl here, barred owl, white winged crossbill, and many other things. Uh, so we're kind of gonna walk this quietly and see if we can spot anything today. Lots of kinglets, golden crown kinglets. But I can't get a photo of them. They're, they're way up in the spruce tops and the light is terrible. There's a snowshoe hare just under the boardwalk. It's half brown, half white, which is normal for this time of year. So I only saw the big white feet as it went under the boardwalk. Let's see if we can get some shots of it. It is so quiet out here today. Just still, no wind. Just had a couple hermit thrushes fighting over here. Kind of waiting to see if that snowshoe hare comes back out. There are purple finches flying over. White-throated sparrows singing. Oh sweet, Canada, Canada, Canada. Distant ruby crowned kinglet, red squirrels, robin, blue jay. Like almost all our properties, we really indebted to our bog buddies, our members, for making this stuff happen. Uh, this 120 acres at the Warren Nelson Memorial Bog was started with a 40 acre parcel that, in the memory of uh, Warren Nelson, uh, Another snowshoe hare. All right, hold on. Stay tuned. No luck. They just vanish into thin air. But yeah, so I was saying that this was in Memorial, original 40 acres to Warren Nelson, well-known, much loved Minnesota birder and photographer. Uh, and many people donated for that. And thanks to Judd Brink and, and many of Warren's friends and then we added another 40 with the help of Gordon Anderson and another 40 Richard and Mary Brainerd and uh, and then Warren Wussner stepped in to to fund a big part of this boardwalk along with you guys the bog buddies so it really is many people coming together and then it was built by a lot of the board and the staff uh, volunteer labor and a lot of grunt work anyway let, yeah let's head over to Nichols Lake turning on to Lake Nichols Road Well, that was kind of nice. There was a big raft of ringneck ducks, a few uh, scop, probably lesser scop, and uh, mad.
mallards and a blue wing teal and a couple uh, horned grebes way out there. I am at Winterberry Bog and last week I promised you an announcement, an uh, exciting announcement about Winterberry Bog and you know it was, it was the place to be this winter. There was a very very cooperative uh, barred owl who would uh, just hang out by the feeders to eat the voles and squirrels that came to eat the bird seed. And uh, back in the woods here, this, this beautiful black spruce tamarack bog, um, there were not just blackback woodpeckers, multiple blackback woodpeckers, but also um, one, at least one, probably two American three-toed woodpeckers. And that is a bird that's hard to find um, in Minnesota, south of the Canadian border. So that was pretty cool. Um, and yes, we are planning to put a 1,000 foot bog boardwalk in here this summer. So um, very exciting. Um, we'll even have a parking pad so people can get off the road, at least maybe six or eight cars. And um, then you can hoof it back in the woods. Um, you can snowshoe. Uh, in the winter, but in now it'll be more accessible in the summer, spring, and fall as well. So this will be a probably about a $35,000, $40,000 project. So we could really use your help. Um, we have on our website, sagzim.org, um, you can go to the give your gift uh, section or donate and uh, help us out with that. But yeah, very exciting gonna start ordering materials well I already have started ordering materials it'll be another tamarack decked um, boardwalk so yeah a beautiful place to uh, enjoy the cathedral of the interior of a black spruce bog there but yeah thanks for joining me again on this third third virtually live friends of Sac Zim bog field trip a little bit foggy and cloudy, not great light, and I didn't do very good at getting uh, bird videos this week, but we saw some cool stuff, and you know, I kind of hate to do it, but I got to give the superstar bird of the day to the wild turkey. I mean, that tom in full display, how often do you see that? So that definitely bird of the day, uh, porcupine, mammal of the day. Wish I would have got some footage of that snowshoe hair. That was pretty cool. All right. Well, we will catch you later next week. And I will rush home now and try and get this up today, Tuesday, April 28th. Next time we meet, it will be May. Yay. All right. From Nichols Lake. This is uh, Sparky Stensauce, Executive Director, Friends of Sag Zimbog, saying happy hunkering. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Mm -hmm.